Weight loss is one of the most common reasons for starting an exercise program. But if your primary goal is weight loss, which exercise is best for you, swimming or running? As triathletes, we generally say both of them. But today we're gonna to help you choose between the two most common exercises for weight loss, swimming or running. Each has its own advantages and disadvantages. And it's also important to acknowledge that even if one sport does burn more calories than the other, there is no quick fix here. Losing weight takes time. And even if you are following an aggressive weight loss program with significant calorie deficit, you should probably only be looking to lose around one pound or half a kilogram per week. And any more than one kilogram or two pounds of weight lost per week is considered dangerous. In fact, I would say it is dangerous. So for instance, if you're looking to lose around 25 pounds of weight and you're very dedicated in your swimming and running, at most you're going to be able to lose that in around half a year. Swimming or running can help you achieve that goal. So let's break down each and help you choose. Let's start with the reason you probably clicked on this video. How many calories do they burn? Or more accurately, which one burns more calories? So calories are a unit of energy and conveniently they're displayed on the backs of foods and on labels of foods that we eat. So we can keep track of the number of calories that we're consuming and eating. In addition, if you're using say a heart rate monitor with a smartwatch, you'll be able to track how many calories you're burning through your exercise. So you can see where we're going with this one. Weight loss happens through calorie deficits. So by keeping track of both calories that you're consuming and going out, we wanna make sure that we're consuming and eating less calories than we're burning. It's important to remember that your total calorie expenditure is not just your exercise calorie expenditure, but also includes the calories you burn throughout the day, your so-called basal metabolic rate, which for most people is around 2,000 calories a day, although it does vary with your height, your weight, your age, and your gender. The amount of calories you burn swimming and running also varies with each individual. An efficient swimmer will actually be able to burn less calories per minute but also an efficient and experienced swimmer will probably be able to hold a higher intensity for longer and be able to swim for longer, meaning that they'll actually be able to burn more calories through swimming. Whereas an experienced runner might actually burn more calories per minute swimming as they thrash about and get nowhere in the water. But they won't be able to sustain that for very long and therefore it won't be very effective for weight loss. Now technically, running will burn more calories than swimming, approximately 25% more calories. That's not a hard and fast rule though, because obviously many factors come into this, such as your weight, your height, and of course, how hard you swim or run. You can test this yourself. Simply wear a heart rate monitor and exercise for the same amount of time swimming or running and see which one burns more calories. But the simple truth is the difference between the two sports is so marginal that the deciding factor on which is better for your weight loss isn't really going to be the calories expended. We need to consider a few other factors. And it's actually also worth pointing out that your calorie expenditure doesn't end necessarily as soon as you end your exercise. This also obviously depends a little on the exercise or the type of exercise you've been doing. For instance, if you've been doing a cold, chilly swim, you're gonna to continue to burn more calories after, whilst your body is warming up. Also, your BMR may stay higher for longer after an intense run versus an easy run. How simple it is to do your chosen sport shouldn't be underestimated. You can go for a run pretty much anywhere in the world. Simply put on a pair of running shoes and head out the door, and you can go in pretty much any weather conditions, although you will need some extra clothes if it is really bad weather. It might be more difficult to get a swim done, unless you're fortunate enough to live in a nice tropical destination where you can swim in a lake or the sea whenever you like, or perhaps you're really fortunate enough to have a private lap pool. More than likely though, that is not the case and you're perhaps having to go to a public swimming pool. You're then having to travel there, drive there, you've got to pay for your entry, you've got to time with lanes being available and then share the lanes with other people, all of which make swimming perhaps a little less Convenient. That said though, the weather is less likely to disturb you when swimming indoors. The wind, rain, darkness is less likely to dissuade you from getting it done. 
both swimming and running are fairly cheap sports to take up and keep doing consistently. For running, all you really need is a decent pair of running shoes. And for swimming, you'll need a decent pair of goggles, a costume, perhaps a hat. Other toys are optional. There is also the recurring cost of the swimming pool entry to that, which you may want to consider when perhaps motivation starts to dwindle in a few weeks' time. That recurring cost may start to dissuade you. If it does and you think it might do, well, perhaps swimming isn't the one for you. And then there is how social each sport is. Again, this completely depends on how you choose to participate in the sport. You can choose to run completely solo and never interact with anyone. And you could do the same with swimming. Alternatively, you could run in a group and talk the entire time. You obviously can't talk the entire time while swimming, but joining a squad or a group for swimming can be a very social affair. I mean, given that you've got to meet at the same place and quite often the same time, Swimming can arguably be more sociable than running. Whichever sport you go for, we'd suggest you lean into the social side of the sport. Having someone to meet and motivate and push you will definitely help you achieve your weight loss goals, but also you get some benefits beyond just the physical, which will help you stick to the program and in the longer term, lose more weight. Before you embark on your weight loss program, it's important to consider that initial adaptation phase. It's easy to see fit people cruising along and looking smooth and fantasize about doing the same. But getting there can take time and patience. After swimming, it also has the big advantage of being non-weight bearing, meaning that it's far easier and lighter on the bones, the muscles and the joints than running. And if you are carrying a few extra pounds, which perhaps you are, if you're watching this video, then that is a big bonus. Also, you can build into and be easier and more gradual with your build into swimming because, well, you can literally go as slow as you like. Starting running can be a bit of a shock to the system. Even if you start with a run-walk program, which we'd advise that you do, you could probably still have some aches and pains in the first few weeks as you adapt to the impact and strain. You also need to consider the side effects of each sport. Whilst both are incredibly positive and healthy pursuits, they each have differing side effects. For instance, swimming can make you incredibly hungry and you need to figure out some strategies to prevent that binging and undoing all that hard work afterwards. Running can lead to GI distress, especially if you aren't careful about what you eat and drink beforehand. And things like side stitches and cramps and joint pain shouldn't be underestimated as they can really do a number on your motivation to go out and run. All this to say that when choosing between swimming and running or to lose weight isn't how much fat they would burn because they would both help to lose weight. Yeah, the best one for you is the one that you're going to keep doing, the one that you enjoy the most, the one that you're going to do day after day, week after week, month after month, it's going to become part of your lifestyle because the truth is to lose weight it doesn't really matter whether you're swimming or running, you have to become a swimmer, or a runner, or a triathlete. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Get involved in the comment section down below. Let us know which one you prefer. And don't forget to subscribe.